Whoa. All right, welcome back. I'm about to, I'm gonna call here just to install, installing a condenser coil. So what I'm gonna do here is just pump it down. First, let's see if there's any refrigerant in it, first and foremost. So it's flat. Clean out this leaves and stuff, that could be a little bit of a fire hazard. Saturated with oils. Okay. Man, Let's see if I can wet this. It's becoming very stubborn. Try to do it quick. Try to get on it real quick. Looking at a really thin line. Whoa! I smell those gases. That's just the oil burning off. Intense. Out with the old and in with the new. I like to, I mean, you think you may as well while you're in here, go ahead and give it a clean. Trip it down to the bear. Bare basics. Always want to handle these things with gloves. They don't look bad, but they're razor sharp, these spins are. What I'm going to do before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and take the Trader. I'm going to take it out completely, but just let the pressure out. These things should come under pressure. 
don't want to do that before cutting these caps off because sometimes those caps will shoot out at you at a high rate of speed. It's pretty dangerous to put an eye out easily. That's interesting how I'm going to have to figure out how to get this cap off here. As you can see, I'll probably have to sweat that off. Because, yeah, there's no... I sweat both of them off, actually. But like I said, you never, ever want to breathe anything under pressure. I'm going to go ahead and take the shredder core completely out. There it goes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and let that fall off, essentially. caps off so now we just put this thing in position okay you always want to be careful to look out for your wiring your low voltage wiring because this stuff is so hot still um, so you got on me. So I'm basically just putting the pressure switch back on here. High pressure. Mm. Now what I'm going to do is put this thing under nitrogen pressure Take our nitrogen here. Got the refrigerant side here, refrigerant hose. I always like to get a quick blast towards the um, just in case anything got in the regulator. Okay. So 
So basically, I'm going to end, I'm going to now um, use my uh, tightness test, and that's pretty much using the suction line temperature um, as a reference. Um, basically, it's for the in internal temperature of the nitrogen. So 132.6 to enter. I like to simultaneously use a measure with tightness test as well. We got a pressure compensated, I mean a temperature compensated pressure test. So let's go to quick test, pressure compensated. First we gotta get our probes on mine. Alright. Quick test. Temperature compensated. Let's start. The design temperature starts at 73 degrees. High pressure 133.5. Start temperature. So let's let that sit while I'm putting this together. So as you can see, um, my line temperature has only gone down one degree. Um, and our pressure has only gone down like one degree, uh, 0.1 psi. So essentially, that's going to be a pass. So what I'm going to do is hit stop, stop, you see I've got a passing pressure, applied pressure, um, plus or minus 1%, 133, I got 133.4, so that's basically what I like about this um, app, that's 500 seconds, which is clearly to about 10 minutes, so hit continue, we're good to go on that. Going back while I'm doing the um, pressure test, and then I'll do the vacuum. So yeah, I've got my vacuum on here. Got about 619 microns, so we got a, probably another. It's been running for about 20 minutes now, so we probably got another 15, maybe 20 minutes to get it down to a 500 microns. But um, yeah, my opinion on, because as you can see, I use my uh, manifolds here pull vacuum and uh, my opinion on that is it works good enough I mean as you can see I've got my thicker Appian hoses here you know and you know two straighter core movers so I I have done it with um, using that type of setup and I will say it works but like I said some, sometimes it's not worth the inconvenience um, Alright, so I'm about down to 500 microns. Just cold my vacuum line. And go ahead and start dropping this charge. So we've got a total of 5 pounds, 2 ounces. That's the bouncer's unit. Let's make it about 5.5 pounds. Eight ounces there. That power off. Downstairs AC. We're gonna go ahead and let her rip. The yeah, pressure's looking decent. Um, so far, probably gonna have to add a little bit more refrigerant, but I'm just gonna check my splits with my psychometer to make sure I've got a decent temp split. But um, yeah, it's been sitting for a few days, so it's got a pretty decent load on that core on door. So but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Just a quick one. Well, not too quick, but that's just how I um, replace the condenser core. Let me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.